renewable energy has three major upsides. It reduces pollution, it helps preserving public health, is equally accessible all over the world. So there is a tremendous power in renewable energy, but a dark side too. Nobody can control when the sun shines or the wind blows. As a result, any renewable power plants will inevitably feed to the grid an unpredictable amount of energy at any time. It's uncontrollable by nature and it is independent from the demand of energy in our cities. Today, 20% of the world energy comes from renewable sources, but 20% is enough to jeopardize the electrical grid if left uncontrolled. But uh, how do we control the uncontrollable? We cannot stop the wind, but we can control the operations of wind turbines and make sure they produce energy when needed and stop when there's excess energy in the grid. It's all work that can be done sitting comfortably in a monitoring and control room, like uh, this one, built by Bax Energy. With uh, a software like uh, Energy Studio Pro, operators uh, can control the whole process of power production, end to end. Information is uh, collected right at the source using edge computing technology and works its way up to the screens of the control room, enabling operators to make uh, insightful decisions uh, timely. Through software, operators can decide when to stop or reduce production because there is overflow of energy or stock prices are low. Operators can also decide to store energy in excess and reuse it later when stock prices are higher or there is a demand peak. A geographical information system monitors in real time the production level of an entire portfolio of widely distributed wind, solar and hydropower plants. Zooming in a particular area allows to access the details of a particular specific power plant. Integrated weather and market forecasts generate precise production forecasts that help selling energy at a better price and schedule maintenance only in windless and cloudy days, in this way maximizing the energy availability. Predictive maintenance, for example, is a form of artificial intelligence that crunches a number of data, including high-res weather forecasts, device data, people's schedule and production objectives, just to suggest a range of days that would be ideal for maintenance. If an alarm pops up, for example, the software allows the operator to look into the issue. Then, if the problem cannot be solved remotely, the operator opens a ticket right from the control room and have technicians investigate on-site. The control room doesn't just work with generation units like turbines or inverters but can also interact with all connected substations and then balance the energy flow towards the grid. The main purpose of a control room is real-time efficiency and is pursued through the analysis of 100 different signals coming from a variety of generation units. Not all possible issues, however, can be easily detected looking at live data. Without uh, ad hoc alarms, uh, uh, crucial production issues such as uh, a silent outage, uh, shadow maintenance and derating are really hard to catch. And this is where historical data analysis fits in. 
A dashboard is a customizable collection of widgets, each showing a particular historical data set. A dashboard gives asset managers an executive summary of ongoing production numbers and captures instantaneously underperformance of units as well as internal components. It's a necessary tool to have as the size of the portfolio grows. For this to happen, it's then crucial to transfer as much knowledge as possible from the physical world to the digital world.